Welcome guys, Hackmods here with a tutorial on adding applications to the Windows System Path. So if you, like me, used to have to go through here and if you get your application saved as a shortcut, um, that's fine, yeah, but it's easy to find, but it's still time consuming. Or even worse, if you've got to go through this whole thousand pile of applications just to find the one you want and blah 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 blah, I can't find it, know where it is anywhere there. So in this tutorial I'll be using PS4 Remote Play as the um, as the example okay so here's my PS4 Remote Play okay so we know it's there now I'll escape here now if I want to, um, a, a quick way to run the application the easiest way is to either push Windows key and X to bring up this terminal and hit R for run and then I can run an application from there so say we want to run Remote Play it won't work we'll get an error because it's not added to the system variable paths so to do this to fix this okay so first off we want to find the application that we want to um, input into the variable string okay so now for the example I'm still using remote play so I'll quickly find there it is remote play now we want to right click it on your mouse and go um, open file location Okay, so there it is there and that's only a shortcut you see so now we want to go to the actual application file so we right click that again and go open file location from there we found that the shortcuts um, location so now we want to um, go up here to the address bar click in there so it all becomes selected as one string now we want to press control C or we want to right click and go copy okay so now from there we've got the string so now we want to push Windows key and um, pause break to open up the the um, system um, application now we want to push hold shift and click advanced system settings and then we want to push N and from there we open up the environment and variables application and so we've got a variable with this uh, with a variable name of path and it holds the string of this value so now we want to go to the end of the value and we want to unselect it and push control V to um, input this into the string and now we want to because it has um, sh uh, spaces within the locate folder location we want to input um, uh, quotation marks at the end there and a semicolon and then we want to come back to where it starts at the C drive or whatever drive you're running it from and put the other um, opening quote so that's done so now we've input um, for example the P uh, PlayStation remote play into the variable string of the path so now we click OK and we click OK again we can close that so now if I push Windows key and X um, I can bring up this terminal again this is the easy way to show you and we can hit R for run or I can just go Windows key and R which is the, what I'm trying to show you the easy way so now I push re remote play I go down because I've already retyped it push go the program will run fine as opposed to when at the start of the tutorial it wouldn't run now that's the easiest way I've found to run applications in Windows um, I hope this tutorial helped um, please rate, like and subscribe. Thank you.